Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from Emotion. In this video today, we discuss Tesla's 4680 battery as well as price updates for 2022. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Now let's get started. Tesla's new batteries may draw your focus away from solid state batteries. Yes, that's exactly what will happen once we have the new Tesla battery cells that will power the entire Tesla lineup. When it comes to battery technologies, solid state batteries are expected to be the next big thing. Many people believe that solid state batteries will revolutionize electric vehicles by storing significantly more energy, charging at a faster rate, and providing greater safety than liquid lithium ion batteries. This will also help us move away from cars that run on fossil fuels. In solid state batteries, thin layers of solid electrolytes transport lithium ions between electrodes. Lithium ion batteries use liquid electrolytes and separators to keep the positive and negative electrodes from coming into contact. Solid state batteries are currently used in devices such as pacemakers and a few smartwatches. However, mass production of these batteries for electric vehicles is unlikely to happen anytime soon. There are numerous advantages to living in a stable state. Because the electrolyte in a lithium ion battery is extremely volatile and flammable at high temperatures, they're far safer and more stable than liquid lithium ion batteries. This means that your lithium ion battery powered electric vehicle is more vulnerable to fires and chemical leaks. Increased stability means faster charging times and less need for bulky safety equipment, which reduces the weight of EVs. These solid state batteries can also store more energy than liquid lithium ion batteries, accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy much faster than Tesla could with lithium ion batteries. However, there are issues with solid state batteries. Car manufacturers and technology companies have produced solid state lithium ion batteries in the lab, but scaling up to a mass production level is difficult due to the difficulty of designing a solid electrolyte that's stable, chemically inert, and still an extremely good conductor of ions between electrons. They're also prohibitively expensive to manufacture, and they're prone to cracking due to the brittleness of electrolytes when they expand and contract during use. So the main issue with a solid state battery is that it'll cost roughly 8 times as much to produce as a lithium ion battery. Companies such as Volkswagen and Toyota are planning to make solid state batteries a reality and we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. It appears that Tesla has the upper hand with their new battery cells, which must be their 4680 cells, which Tesla introduced back in September 2020 during the Battery Day event. People who are unfamiliar with battery cells may believe that Tesla is simply trying to reinvent the wheel with another different looking battery, but this is not the case because the 4680 cells are far more important than you may believe. Tesla's new tabletop battery cells come close to being the ideal power source that people have always wished for solid state batteries to be. To begin with, it has to do with energy storage, but if you're wondering about the name 4680 battery cells, it's not some secret code. It simply denotes the dimensions of the battery. The dimensions are 46 mm wide by 80 mm tall. Because of the larger overall size, more electrical energy can be stored. We're talking about roughly 5 times the energy storage capacity of the 27 battery cells used in the Model 3 and Model Y battery packs. When it comes to owning an EV, Range anxiety has always been an issue. Tesla successfully addressed this issue by increasing the range per charge of their vehicles and by utilizing their extensive supercharger network. If you're interested in other fascinating things about Tesla, then make sure to check out our video on why Tesla's new nanotech battery will be worth trillions. You can go check this out after the video. Electric vehicle range anxiety will be very different from running out of gasoline because gas stations are everywhere. However, this is not the case with supercharging networks, despite the fact that there are many of them near you depending on where you live. We're looking at approximately 25,000 superchargers around the world, and this number will grow due to the rate at which Tesla sells its electric vehicles, and the demand for electric vehicles is not going away anytime soon. So, with these new 4680 cells, you get 5 times more energy, which means you'll have less range anxiety, a lot more range per charge and you'll need to make fewer stops on a long road trip, which will be a fulfilling experience. The new architecture is the topic for the following discussion. The cell structure and design of the 4680 cells have improved. When compared to other electronic gadgets or even electric vehicles, these devices may be much more advanced in terms of the technology that they pack. But one area where technology lags is with batteries, so it's past time to improve cell structure and design, and Tesla did just that with the 4680 cells. The internal structure is significantly different because laser-patterned shingles provide a shorter path for electrons to flow. 
gasped when comparing the dimensions of these new 4680 cells to the 2170 cells. You get a larger cell, but you also get a battery cell with more power both in and out, resulting in faster charging time. This is not a new invention, but an evolution of batteries that will provide us with a viable alternative to gasoline-powered vehicles. The final section on Tesla's tabletop battery concerns the environmental implications. Most people don't think about this when purchasing an electric vehicle, but here is out. Your electric vehicle requires a large number of small batteries, and once their useful life is over, you must recycle them safely. However, today's batteries contain cobalt, making them a non-sustainable choice for the environment. The best thing about these new 4680 cells is that they're significantly less harmful to the environment, and Tesla wants to completely eliminate the use of cobalt and make their batteries at least 90% recyclable. According to Tesla, the manufacturing process for these new 4680 cells will result in several cost savings, so you're essentially getting a better battery with significant cost savings. The best part about these new battery cells is that they will be integrated directly into the vehicle structure, which may improve driving dynamics and provide better safety for the battery pack. Electric vehicles have always been expensive, with batteries accounting for roughly 40% of the total cost of an electric vehicle. Assume Tesla truly wants to hasten the world's transition to sustainable energy. In that case, they must devise a way to make these batteries significantly more affordable. And let us hope that Tesla will pass on the cost savings to end users. Tesla is also collaborating with current battery suppliers to begin mass production of the new 4680 cells. Panasonic appears to be the company that will manufacture the Tesla 4680 battery cells, with test production set to begin early next year. Tesla also claims that the 4680 cells solved some significant issues that were preventing the industry from producing larger cylindrical lithium-ion cells in a new format. These new 4680 battery cells have the potential to be cheaper, more efficient, and provide you with a longer range or even smaller battery packs, and things are looking up with these battery cells. Panasonic is Tesla's longest-standing battery partner. Panasonic CEO Yuki Kusumi also stated that if the test production is successful, the company will make a large investment in producing Tesla's new battery cell. LG, Samsung, and CatL are among the other battery manufacturers that will produce the 4680 cells. Tesla will need a lot more batteries than ever before, so collaborating with these manufacturers will help Tesla maintain its position as the market leader in the EV segment. Even today, there are no legacy automakers capable of challenging Tesla's dominance in the EV segment, which is quite surprising and says a lot about a company with a product portfolio that's at least five years ahead of the competition. To summarize, the 4680 cells are a huge step in the right direction for Tesla. In theory, solid-state batteries are the best option. But we know the current state of solid-state batteries. If you want us to make a detailed video on solid-state batteries, please let us know in the comments section below, and we'll gladly do so. Solid-state batteries, we believe, will be the next big thing. Nonetheless, given the difficulty of manufacturing solid-state batteries, the advancements made with the 4680 cells may force us to abandon them entirely. It'll be expensive, and no one wants the prices of EVs to be much higher than they're now, especially when you consider that Tesla's most affordable vehicle, the Model 3, will set you back around $40,000 for the base model. And the prices will go much higher if you're willing to make performance upgrades by opting for the higher trim. You must pay an additional fee for certain cosmetic upgrades as well as the full self-driving feature. Faster charging, particularly something that can charge a battery from 0 to 100% just 10 minutes, and provide approximately 1,000 miles is no longer a pipe dream thanks to advancements in the new 4680 cells. That's all we got for today. Thank you for stopping by to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Emotion, for more exciting content and latest updates. See you in the next one.